Uh, I'm going to keep my comments short and I'll have a little more to say, especially in the way of thanks to our sponsors at the end, at the closing of our uh, uh, closing ceremony. Uh, but let me just talk about the course that I had the honor and privilege and great pleasure uh, to teach this year in the second session of the intensive program. I'm just tremendously grateful to uh, the organizers uh, up above me for inviting me to teach and for the students who worked alongside me and with me in this course of uh, seven seminars. I learned so much. I learned from students and I just want to say to the, all the students, uh, thank you so much for uh, not just your questions, but also your corrections and also in this very unusual time, all the homework that you did for this course. The assignments for uh, four out of our seven seminars were pretty demanding and every student who completed them did a lot of extra work that wasn't visible or didn't they didn't have time to present in their presentations in the seminar but it really made a difference it really showed in the quality of the readings and interpretations and corrections to the many manuscripts that we read together during this seminar so i want to thank uh, especially the students who who really taught you so much the experience of teaching on this subject has uh, been really helpful for me as well. It's allowed me to re-immerse myself in the materials and in the broader subject. And that in turn is a spur to me to finish up some writing projects uh, on these subjects. So it's been a tremendous opportunity for me and I wanna thank you all very much. I also will say uh, just quickly that regarding uh, the use of the internet for teaching this series of seminars, I had about as much fun as one could possibly have considering that it was remote learning. And I think that between the staff uh, at UBC Central or the frog, pair, frog bear uh, lily pad, uh, the bear's den up in Vancouver, uh, on the one hand, and every single student making a, a tremendous effort to stay connected, to stay alert, to get up quite early in the morning sometimes, uh, or to stay up quite late in the evening at other times. Uh, it, it really was uh, pleasurable to, to use this system. Finally, I want to mention uh, one person in particular that I think all of us in, in the, the, who did the teaching uh, came to really depend on and really appreciate, and that's Vicki Baker. And so Vicki, I wanted to thank you uh, directly and publicly, and, and maybe now is a good time for, for everybody to, to hit their reactions and give, give, some, give applause uh, for Vicki Baker. Um, Vicki's uh, work, during this process. Uh, I don't know whether to compare it to a bodhisattva or uh, a slightly more mundane comparison would be the ever ready bunny uh, that keeps on going. Uh, she always sent us reminders. Uh, she often sent me panicked alarms about one minute before class time. I, I suspect some of the other uh, faculty members uh, received similar uh, similar questions and reminders from her. So I, I want to say a special thanks to Vicki, and I know that uh, Grace Lee and Melinda Schoen were also involved. So thank, thanks, thank you very much.